Suomi or Finland? Let's go. The Kingdom of Finland. You mean Republic of Finland. And I can't pronounce that. Sorry, Brudas. Finnish language is too hard for me. And our today's campaign truly depends on Russia and regime which will be established in Petrograd. Russian regime will play a key role in our today's campaign. Black Monday hits Finland. Well, we expected that. What a nice photo of, I think, Helsinki? Or maybe Helsinki Force? If you know, you know. The Finnish economy. Such a nice Nordic icon. Reinforce the Mannerheim line. We definitely need it. This blood will definitely try to attack us. And we've got around three years to prepare to this fight against Moscow or Petrograd. Depends which city will be capital. But if we do everything right, the Great Finland will be established. The Finnish Professional Association protest. God damn it, those leftists. Again, we will crush those traitors once more, as we did it in 1918. And they were crushed only because of our great field marshal, Karl Gustav Emil Mannerheim. The Lapua movement marches on parliament. Lapua movement as national populists, and we need to stop them. And the only one way to stop them is to choose the Red Guard arrives and fights the Lapua movement. So we will clash leftists was rightists. So national populists against radical socialists and syndicalists. The most epic fight in Finland in 1936. So the clash of clans has begun. And in this case, Mannerheim successfully realized the White Guard. After this action, we have established a provisional government of Finland. But that's not the end, because Mannerheim successfully realized the White Guard. And Mannerheim's White Guard emerged victorious. As the result of it, the Republic of Finland leaves Middle Europa. Monerheim made a right decision. And now, as you can see, Finland has left one by one against the Russian Republic. Which has elected Social Democrats. Hmm, not so bad. They won't build a strong Russia, so it's good for us. And since July 1936, our country is ruled by the great Finnish Worst, Karl Gustav Emil Mannerheim. Glory to the old man who saved Finland for the second time. Oh, an interesting fact. Karl Gustav Emil Mannerheim served around 30 years in Russian Imperial Army. So he truly understands something about Russian Army and Russian statehood. Mannerheim's decision. It's not the time for democracy. Managing to take out the radical militias out swiftly, Mannerheim soon began his consolidation of power, proclaiming a victory for the Finnish people and stability of the Finnish nation. So Mannerheim decided to hold on to powers. We are finally free from the freaking German dynasty who ruled Finland for almost 20 years. Good night, radicals from the both sides. Nokia Industrial Company. Now we all understand why their telephones are unbreakable. New Constitution. Finally, the Constitution of Republic of Finland. With so many experts having written the Constitution and the Finnish people in favor of legitimizing the Republic of Finland's newfound status in the world, it's no surprise that earlier today the Constitution passed with flying colors, with Parliament anonymously ratifying it. Its effects, however, remain to be seen. Hell yeah, plus two military factories. My congratulations, this year, in 1937, our worst turned 70 years old. We wish him a great health. Hmm, but when relinquish control of the parties and consolidate Mannerheim's rule, Hmm, of course we just consolidate Mannerheim's rule. Mannerheim has decided that Finland isn't stable enough for democracy. Instead, the military shall consolidate its power and prolong the martial law until Finland sees enough stability and peace. Oh no, Finland joined the Russian alliance. We will have a huge problems in Laplandia. Diplomacy is for jerks. The real boys always choose aggressive expansionism. We cannot bide our time and use words to solve our issues. Words? What a stupid sin. In order to prove that Finland is both a strong nation and willing to get what she desires, we must begin to prepare the military and mass for a great struggle. And of course for the great trial. 
but 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 bro, why did you decide to join Slavery Sphere of Japan? I mean, you don't even connect to each other, even through China, even through this small gut. I mean, you are sitting here in Go Prosperity Sphere doing nothing, and Japan is kind of weird too, with a weird emperor. Russians declared war on the Great Caucasian Emimate and they will greatly regret about that. Because war declaration on the Great Caucasian State means that the whole Rex Pact will join the war against the Russian Republic. And honestly, I don't think that they are prepared to this war well enough. Maybe it's gonna be our chance to conquer lands that we want to. I just need a few more months to see the situation on the front line and then we can easily decide what to do. To understand my situation, there is no step back after choosing war with Russia, because we automatically declare war on them. Russia holds the greatest amount of rightfully Finnish territory and has always been stubborn to accept the supremacy of the Finnic people. We must show them that those lands truly belong to us and bring about independence for the people living there. I, I, I need to think about that, give me a sec. Alright, we really need to use this chains against Russians. There won't be any other chains to act like that. May 1979, the Republic of Finland has declared war on the Russian Republic. Sounds unbelievable, to be honest. And Russians got almost no forces, so we need to use these chains. First encirclement of Russian forces near Petrograd. Boys, we managed to do it. We cut the Russian front line on two parts, northern one and the main one. As you can see, Russian AI isn't so smart. Um, Norwegians aren't so smart too. Oh my god, it looks like that we have defeated Russians on the north. And now the only question for us is to defeat Russians on the south, because north is fully secured. Russians are just living away from those lands. Congratulations boys, we broke the Russian defense on the south. This is probably gonna be the last operation of the Finnish armed forces who have almost reached Petrozavodsk in October 1939. This is a real one Finnish blitzkrieg. We are victorious, we have successfully routed the armed forces of the Russian state and inflicted a series of great defeats upon them. This is an opportunity to offer them peace in exchange for Karelia. I have saved my game, so let's try to sue you for peace. Treaty of Petrograd. The Russian state has agreed to our offer of peace. Karelia has been seated and the war is finally over. A magnificent victory. A Treaty of Helsinki was signed. But along with that we have also gained Warangar Peninsula and Finnmark Plateau because Norway took part in this war in the side of Russians and they killed a lot of our soldiers. So we have fully finished up any deals with the Russian Republic. And now we need to focus on Swedish state because I wanna take Torne Valley. Don't forget that I can also attack Swedish state at any moment. And that's the only one land that I need to proclaim the Greater Finland. We all understand that German Empire is going to die in the nearest years, so we need to take part in that. We need to say hello to our former allies in Berlin. And three days we are going to join the second world crack and we will try to crush the Swedish state. And alone with capturing Torna Valley, we will try to save Swedish from the horrors of the Russian imperialism and horrors of the socialism. Swedish army is collapsing. October 1940, Rex Pact has officially collapsed. Sweden said goodbye to the all international forces and now it's gonna be much easier to collapse them. Bro, what the hell is that? What did you form? Yay, we are entering Stockholm and no one can stop us. So that's minus Sweden. Now Sweden belongs to Finland. It's so ironically because in the past Sweden owned Finland and now Finland owns Sweden. Switch sides be like. And finally, proclaim Greater Finland. With all of the territory once formally claimed by us, now under our control, we can finally make this idea of Great Finland a reality. And we will re-establish Swedish monarchy. We have just liberated Sweden, we are not occupants. Um, excuse me? Um, I didn't sign on that. Um, okay, see you for peace for the second time. We have signed Treaty of Petrograd for the second time. Bro, your attack has fully fucked up. This war was really weird. Russian claims, excuse me. Never. Bro realized that he needed to do something with Finland only after 
a huge collapse on the front line a few years ago when he lost war to me and I've gained the whole Russian Norse. The equation of our thousand brothers. Um, okay, we can march to save our Estonian brothers. Uh, we can take the Finno Ugric torch to unite the Norse. Or we can even take the Finno Ugric torch, including Hungary. Oh my fucking god. You know, I just prefer to unite Norse um, without Hungary. And we can even have a new flag of the Balsafini Commonwealth. Hmm, let's try it. Wow, nice! Baltofini Commonwealth. Estonia? Oh, okay, Estonia joined the Russian alliance. I thought that we could unite with them, but no. But this Finland with a new flag and a new color. Gosh, it's insane. Baltofinic Commonwealth. Boys, remember that. That's not even Finland anymore. That's Baltofinic Commonwealth. And now I even got course on the other Russian territories, such as Arkhangelsk. Uh, Pichora and Ust Sisolsk. Even Petrograd and some other territories uh, near the Finnish Gulf are my claims, my course, sorry, too. Even some parts of Sweden are my course, too, so let's take those territories from them. Now this Commonwealth looks even more based. It would look even more based with those Norwegian territories, but we won't get them. Glory to Baltofinic Commonwealth and glory to Mannerheim.